come to warn you. I think you have beaten up much more than you can chew. And what is that supposed to mean? If you do not retrace your steps, I shall personally declare war against you. <laughs> throw him out. All right! You come and throw me out. Come and throw me out, I'll dare all of you! Yes, Grandpa. Grandpa, I have always wondered 
why this our town is named Ubomiri. Yet, there is no river or stream flowing in it. Moreover, we queue up endlessly in one tap they said was built by one, one Mazi Okereke. Grandpa, I think Ubomiri symbolizes water, yet there is none flowing in the land. You bring back my father's memory. He once told me a story, and I'll narrate it to you now, so that you can tell your own children or grandchildren if they confront you with such a question. Oh, thank you, Grandpa. Thank you. <sighs> yes. More years. You see, the problem of water scarcity has been on for many, many years. When the sky was the footpath of the squirrels. hungry. What am I going to eat this morning? Don't worry, I will make your food. Please. Nah, the worst has happened. <laughs> the Ubomi River has dried up. What? what? There's no water. What? There's no water, Papa. What do you mean by that? I'm just coming from the river. The Ubomi River has dried up. Let me go and see the Igwe. Sure. I went to the stream to fetch water and I discovered that the river has dried up. What do you mean by that? What do you mean that the river has dried up? Papa, I could not find a drop of water. Hey! So where did the water go? I don't know. I'm so scared. Who go on, Mini Lay? Let me go to the palace and find water. What is this? Mama, why are you running? Why are you frantic? Do go in the river has dried up. Huh? Oh, Mama, Mama. Mama. No, this is unbelievable. Oh, it's true. It's true. Mama. It's true. Mama. So, that means we won't have our bath anymore. Let's go and see for ourselves. Let's go and see for ourselves. Hey! It is true! Move on, Millie! Hey! 
Igwe. Hey! A great calamity has befallen our people. Ubemli River has dried up. Igwe. Igwe. My daughter just told me that the river has dried up. They have already heard it. He's already heard it. Dick, I'm not referring to you. I said the Igwe have already heard it. Igwe! 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 I watch our Lord Igwe. Yes, we need to pull him, Igwe. Hey! Hey! Igwe! 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 There is problem. Who's Sabude? There's problem. What do we do? Hey! Igwe! Igwe! The water has dried up. Angela, what are you doing here? What are you doing? You don't belong here. Iki, what do you know what is he doing here? Is he not a member of this community? Is he not? Angela, please leave this place. Leave this place. You don't belong here, please. Dike. Angela, go. I'll see you later. Hmm? Go. Iwe. Iwe. Dike. The whole town is full of confusion. Hey. People are running help us. I don't even know what the gods want from us. My sister, I don't know. The words that I don't know who has offended. Hey! Oh, no, my God, mm. hey. Hey. People are confused. Problems here and there. Hey. What do we do? What do we do? Hey. What do they want from us? The gods want from us. Ma, 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 I'm hungry. I'm hungry. You are? What do you want me to do? Where can I get water to cook for you? How many families are cooking in Mbomiri? Don't you know our river has dried up? Please, Udoka, help me talk to your brother. Uh -huh. What is it? Uh -huh. Just try and manage. Eh? At least you have been living on fruits for some time now. What fruit? What fruit? Ah, I'm more fruit. Okay. Ah, I'm. Ah, I'm. If you won't eat it, you can as well throw it away. After your mates are out there getting food for their families. If you marry, look at you. What is even wrong with yourself? Mama, eh? you are the one spoiling our ham. Mama, I said you are the one spoiling our ham. Mama, is it because you're only son? Mama, you're the one spoiling our ham. Hey. Mama. Please, I'm going to one man's house. Hey, one man do oh. oh. Sorry, oh. It's because of this case of water now. Huh? Hey. Chimo. Hey. Udoka, let me go to no, no, you said it. I feel like going to the toilet myself. Chimo. Thank you. 
Your Highness. Dike. The Eze one is not here yet. What must be keeping her? Dike, she's on her way. Quiet! Did I ask you? Did I ask you? I asked you, were not you. Do you live with her? Do you know where she is? Your Highness. Um, what, what, what must be keeping her? Eruru, eruru, bi ya ubu a, e, a, e. Eruru, eruru, bi ya ubu a, e, a, e. Eruru, eze wa bogi, e, a, e. Eruru, eze wa nina bogi, o, e, a, e. Your Highness. Ah, eze wa nina. Has the goddess spoken? Your Highness, up to this moment, she hasn't spoken. Why not? Make her speak. Keep quiet. Are you a god or a goddess? But you compel the gods to speak at your behest? Are you mad? How dare you? A mere mortal. Desecrate. The sanctity of you. So, what do we do now? What do we do? DK, mm -hmm. what do we do? Do we consult another god? <laughs> suggesting that we consult another god. This is entirely in the province of Eru, so it will be wrong to go and seek advice elsewhere. We must now be compelled to propitiate the gods before she speaks to us through the Ezewani. So we must do something, your highness, we must. My throat is very dry. There's no drop of water anywhere to drink or even to bet. This situation is getting worse by the day. This is the situation we have found ourselves in. What do I do? Well, I don't have any choice than to urinate and drink my own urine. Well, I'll do it. After all, I'm not the, I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one who, who is doing this. I'm still sitting in that little corner wondering what to do To 
I will welcome back to my own house again. No, you're welcome. <laughs> because what is the problem? I want to feed the goats this morning. I discovered that four goats died last night, including three sheep. Go and see for yourself. What must have killed them? Didn't you feed them yesterday? Them. For two market weeks now, they've not had water to drink. No water! And you and the way you're having meetings. Holding meetings. Listen. <laughs> Listen. We are trying our best. Which best? Your best is not good enough. Which best? Because you should know that we are not the gods. This matter is for the gods. Do you understand? Look at another day. I am just died like that. Didn't you attend the better? Or didn't you hear? Didn't you hear? Please, please. Don't let us get off Ham's case. Nah, I'm case, case, whoever. Please. I'm, I'm just coming back. I left here since morning. I'm hungry. Please, can I have my food? Let me just eat. Which food? 
is the one to cook the food. Or rather to water. Ngozi. <laughs> you mean you did not cook in this house? No, go and hold the meeting with Igwe. Very soon, all of us will die. And it will be left you and the Igwe to be able to hold your meetings. Go! Go. I think it's high time we did something about the situation of our community. Look, our people are suffering. There is scarcity of water. We can barely cook. We can't have our breath. And the Igwe does not want to call the community to address us. Ubomiri is no longer Ubomiri. Uwe, I think you're right. It just occurred to me now. It's true. See, we have neighboring towns like Ebada. We have Morubi. Why can't they talk to them to allow us fetch water from their streams? Our people are suffering. We are suffering. I believe as representatives of the youth, let us go to the Igwe and his council. Let's talk to them. Let's make them understand that our people are suffering. Let them understand how we feel. Ebe, you're right, Ebe. Do we see him tomorrow? No. I suggest we go now to the palace. They are holding a meeting there now. Let's talk to them. And let them understand that our people are losing hope. Ebe, you're right, Ebe. You're right. I suggest we go and see them now. Ebe. Our recent situation is, is so peaceful. Honestly. It's nothing less than famine. Wait, we have to do something. Let's go now. Let's, Let's go. go. Uh, bring them in. Elders of Ubomiri land, we greet you. Your Highness, we have come to table our protests as the representatives of the youths of Ubomiri. Since the disappearance of the Ubomiri River, our people have been suffering. We are thirsty, we can't cook, and we are even smelling. We've been expecting the Igwe to, to address the community ever since then, but nobody has address the youth so we have come to know if anything is being done to reverse the situation youths of ubomiri have i spoken your mind yes it is all right uh, Dickard, you would please address the youth on our behalf um youths of ubomiri <coughs> I greet all of you. Um, ever since this calamity befell our people, we've been meeting regularly, trying to find a solution to this problem. It is true we have not addressed you publicly. That is not to say we have not been occupied with this problem. But we decided that we must address you only after we would have found a solution. We have consulted with the priestess of Ubumri River. The priestess, in turn, promised us to consult with the goddess and get back to us. We have not, up to this moment, heard from the river goddess. But we have not given up. We believe that before long, the goddess will speak to the priestess on what 
we ought to do to ensure that we find a solution to this problem. We are optimistic that this will happen before too long. We want you to bear with us. We know your plight. The same thing applies to us. We are concerned. We are worried. Just as we know that you are disturbed. But as we say in our place, anything that has a beginning must naturally have an end. The Igwe has been disturbed. We have shown some concern. We know that you are all worried. Before long, I'll give you my word. There will be a solution to this problem. We are grateful, Your Highness. May you live long. Thank you. May I live long. May I live long. Get the idea of getting married to Nemi. Why? You asking me why? Uh -huh. But can't you see at her age, her mother is here to bear another child. But what if she is barren? What if she doesn't give you a child? Arisa, Arisa, look, 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 look. I know you don't like Nena, but I am not bothered about it. Please, I beg you in the name of the gods, don't bring her into any of our discussions anymore. Please. I love her, and even if she doesn't give me any child, I will go ahead and marry her because I love her. And that's the way it is. Please! Ebe, why not reason? Ebe, come, come. Ebe. There is something I want to tell you. I hope it's well. It is well. You want <laughs> Last four market days, you thought I was sick. But today, I want to see why I'm. Mm. And she told me that uh, I'm 22 weeks market days pregnant. You? Pregnant? Yes. You? My ancestors. Who? Hey! Our gods. Thank you for remembering me. My ancestors. I'm grateful. I ask that this one should be a boy. He said, oh, and he'll be a boy. Ah. <sighs> Hey! This community, they will hear. No, no. No. You know why I called you up this night? I want to talk to you. I am not happy with you at all. You don't impress me as a son. You don't behave like the son of a warrior. You're lazy. You don't go to the farm when you ought to. Before the river dried up, you would hardly fetch water for the family. Your mother asks you to help her at home. It takes a lot of doing before you decide on what to do. That does not make me proud of you as a son. You know that the Igwe has no son. If he joins our ancestors tomorrow, the responsibility for overseeing this community becomes mine. I will mount that traditional stool. As you can see, I'm also getting on. If tomorrow, as the Igwe, I am invited to confer with my ancestors, it means that you will have to take over the throne. And from the way you're getting on now, I'm even scared to think of what you will do when you get into that place. 
So, Nana, I am not happy with you. You are not giving me cause to hope for the future. No. Not at all. No. Ma'am. Mm. I promise you that from today, I will start going to the farm regularly. And I will be helping Mama at home. All right. Let me start watching you from now. Hmm? All right, you can go and sleep now. No. Catch you both. Good night. <laughs> Zehanacho will not grant your request. Please, our animals are dying. We are perishing. When Ubomiri joined with Egbada, I fought my kingdom. You fought my father and fought me. Did you ever realize that one day they have a problem? Ezehanacho. Please, temper justice to us. Pestilence will ravage Ubu You people will die of thirst and hunger. Calamity will be everywhere. Get out of my palace. Please. Get out of my palace. Then get to Kumba for me! Quickly! Yes, your highness, your life is Get out of my palace! Out! Arinze, the most disturbing part is that the Eze of Morubi has threatened to deal with us if we ever ask him to allow us fetch water from their stream. Imagine more ruby. Hey, hmm. Don't insult this scarcity of water won't bring to hmm. us. One thing I know is that um, nothing lasts forever. Oh. How are you? I'm fine. Why did you come out this late? I just want to see you. You've been avoiding me. Oh no. How could I avoid you? I've not been avoiding you. It's just that I've been a little too busy recently. Only yesterday we went to see the Igwe and the council over this problem. How can I avoid you? Are you no longer my morning son? <laughs> I thought you were avoiding me. Ah, no, no, no. I have to run back to the house now before Nene will start looking for me. So soon? Yes, I had to sneak That's out just to see you. Igwe! Igwe! Things are hard for us! Are you a wiki Igwe? Do something! We are smelling! Even you! Hmm. Come, take it out! Take it out of this place! Come! Come! Oh no! Come oh, no. Oh, no. Get it out of this place!
Him away. No! Go and bury him. <laughs> Before your father, in the presence of your father. Who's father here now? 
Look at them all. For Oluji to walk home and fat in the presence of, 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 of her father. Huh? Nay, the heirs of Mo Ruby has refused us from fetching water from their stream. <laughs> we all are smelling in this community. You are smelling, I am smelling too. There's no way they will fat in your hey. presence, Nay. Us. <laughs> Do something. <laughs> tell us. Tell us. Where do we go from here? Help us. The situation is getting out of hand. People say that when the body of an animal itches it, it goes to the tree to scratch it. But when the body of a human being itches him, he looks for another person to scratch his back. We have come to you because you have a problem, our water problem. I want you to scratch our back. Yiguo <laughs> Jiku, you are speaking in riddles. Igwe, I greet you. Uh, Ebada and Ubumiri are neighbors. They have lived side by side and enjoyed fine relations from the time of our forefathers. Your father, Ujimba, the first, was a very nice person. Our people loved him a lot. In fact, we fought most of his wars with him, especially me, Dikogu. Make your request. Our river has dried up and we have come to ask a favor from you. Allow us to fetch water from your river. How did your river dry up? Permanent tapa does not divulge all that it sees on top of the palm tree. Through it! There is an adage that says that nothing goes for nothing. You may have helped my father, but this is a new dispensation. My father is gone, and I now sit on this throne. However, there are some conditions which you must fulfill if I will grant your request. Conditions? Conditions. First, your people will sweep our village square once every market week. Secondly, they will keep clean the river banks every single day. 
Thirdly, you must pay tribute to me once every two market weeks. These people are our neighbors. Ichi Ekere, I did not ask for your counsel. of our community is really disturbing me. It's disturbing me too. <sighs> but life has to go on. Mm. You know I love you. I love you very much. I like you too. Don't you love me? You're a nice person. <sighs> so, Nina, I, I want to come with some of my uncles to see your parents so we can initiate the marriage rites. Your Highness, there is something I've been wanting to tell you, but I've been waiting for the right time. And I think this is the right moment. Our people love you a lot because you've been a very good, kind, and considerate Igwe. Um, I'm aware that you loved your late wife a great deal. I also know you've mourned her long enough. Your Highness, I think it's about time you considered taking another wife. You see, in moments of distress as we experience today, nothing can serve as a substitute for the comfort provided by a loving wife. Besides, if tomorrow you proceed to join our ancestors. There will be nobody to occupy this throne. And you know, we deserve an heir in Ubermiri. Because of these two considerations, Your Highness, I am suggesting that at your earliest convenience, you seriously consider taking another wife. Nikahu. Thank you, Your Highness. I thank you so much for your concern. And you see, this is something I've been thinking about for a long time. But you see, given our circumstances, now, it is ill-advised. Ubomiri is still facing very serious problems. And it will not be advisable for us to do anything that does not promote the interest of the people of Ubomiri. I want to assure you that as soon as Ubomiri is out of distress, I will take a new wife. Thank you very much. But one more thing. I want to thank you immensely. This has shown me what a good friend you are. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
I appreciate you would. I appreciate you would. Nina, eh? Nina, eh? You know yes, so. What kind of? Get out here, ah? Ebube, Ebube. Yes. Are you jealous? I am not. <laughs> that reminds me. Everybody is coming today with his people. I know, that's why we are here. New bride. Mm. <laughs> that's why you are just shining and radiating like the morning sun. I need to. I'm so happy. <laughs> Mas eu como. Anze. E tia Mari. Anze canze. E bebê. Na injoco. E gira. Injoco. I hope all is well. That you visit by this time. All is well. It's a very happy journey we have come to your place. We are on a merry trip. And you came with a keg of wine. And some uh, color nuts. <laughs> but uh, I thought you would have offered a seat before this question. Uh -huh. uh, no, I don't have a seat in my house. Huh? Uh, yes. Uh, I'm only here. Yes. Um, Ebube, the son of my late brother, has come to ask for the hand of your daughter in marriage. Yes. Yebube mm -hmm. has come to ask for the hand of my daughter mm -hmm. marriage. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yes, of course. Mazukon is a happy one. Are you people strangers in this community of ours? Of course, we are not. We are not. So at this turbulent time of ours, it's when you choose to come and ask for the hand of my daughter in marriage. I think you must be out of your senses. Please leave my compound now. Huh? Leave my compound now. I said leave my compound. No, no, we, we, we. Okay, we shall see. Oh. Oh. for the hand of my daughter in marriage. When you marry her, go and drink her blood. Nina, I'm very sorry about what happened at your place today. Honestly, I, I didn't mean to cause you any embarrassment. I was only carried away by our love. Your father was right. I shouldn't have come to ask for your hand in marriage at this time when, when the community is in trouble. I only pray that this, this whole situation comes to an end very soon so that we can carry on with the marriage. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's just that I'm scared. No, you don't have to be scared. Everything will be fine. The gods have said nothing. And so the people went to the priestess of the goddess of the river to beg her 
for the gods to open that for me. But, Grandpa, did the gods intervene? Listen, man. <laughs> this situation is choking me. We cannot sleep. We cannot rest. We cannot cook. We cannot eat. Please, has the goddess spoken? Bioma, one you mala. Ubo me people are suffering. Tell me how we have offended you and what to do to appease you. Erunem, please restore our happiness. Answer me. I said one. My goddess. Yes, my daughter. I summoned you to Ewala stream. My water was desecrated with the menstrual flow of a virgin. In three market weeks, I will tell you what to use to appease me. You can now go. Thank you, my goddess. You are always a mother of mercy and kindness. Abomination. We must find the girl that did it. This will bring untold hardship on our people. Hey! At least we now know the problem. So what is the solution? Yes, what, what, what must we do? The goddess did not tell me. Hmm? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Wang, please, please, find out what we should <laughs> do to appease <laughs> the goddess. Your Highness. You see what we are passing through? Things have turned upside down. Upside down. No food for the people. Famine everywhere. Because there is no water. And you are Mirwa Motonye. A well-known rain maker. I want you to go and make the rain to fall before sunset today. 
Igwe, this shit drives us. It is impossible to make it. It is possible. If it is possible, make it possible, then. Make it possible. Igwe, let me Please, go and do it. Yeah. 